Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. Thanks for tuning in. I got another interesting slug video for you. In this video, I'm using one of the slugs from my H&N 22 caliber sampler pack that's 0.217 or 551 head sized or sized. And this has been the most requested video to find a slug or shoot a slug in a brake barrel and see how well it does. So as always, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe below if you haven't already. It's definitely gonna be an interesting video using slugs in a brake barrel air rifle, guys. So I'm gonna go over my rig real quick. You see here, I have a Gamma Swarm Whisper 22 caliber. I'm running an ADE Zero recoil mount with a Penty 4 to 16 mil dot scope and in this video I'm going to be shooting that at 35 yards with the H&N 25 grain 22 caliber hollow point slug again at 35 yards check it out So you've seen there, that wasn't that great. Well, I'm going to try something different here. In that shooting scene, I was shooting the air rifle, resting it on the bag without the hand underneath the artillery hold. So now I'm going to shoot three more shots to show you what I got while using the artillery hold with this rifle. So keep watching because it's going to be amazing. Wow, all I can say is that is amazing. Even the slugs out of a brake barrel air rifle need to be shot with an artillery hold, at least in my gun, to shoot that good. And that three shots right there is right around three eighths of an inch. Actually, you know, a little bit less, but that is amazing. At 35 yards with the slug, 25 grain H&N hollow point slug, that is unbelievable i mean that's pcp accuracy at 35 yards guys wow so the slug again i must have picked the right one to get it to match because it's it's matched that's amazing i could not believe that as soon as i seen that through my scope watching those slugs fly straight down the range and hit the target i, I my jaw just dropped after seeing that that is something else so again, I know that's three shots, but with that amount of wind, I don't know if you heard the wind whipping out there. That is something else. Wow. And to top it off, I did take velocity readings as I was shooting, which I forgot to mention. These are going 475 feet per second. That is unbelievable. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I answered the call. Many of you requested this to find a slug to shoot in a brake barrel and see how well they do. And I hope I did it the right way. And I want to share with you my knowledge of finding the right slug for my gun and showing you what my gun is capable of. So as always, again, hit that like button and subscribe below if you haven't already. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.